Okay, so good morning, everybody. Rise and shine. Another day in this warm, beautiful city that we call Istanbul. Um, so I was just hey, I'm good. How are you? Great, very. Uh, London, London. Thank you. So, um, yeah, I was just kind of this morning woke up. And I was actually just replaying back yesterday a little bit in my mind um, and thinking about all the things that I actually learnt about the country and Istanbul specifically yesterday, which I felt was you not know, very interesting. I didn't get to capture everything because obviously I wanted to be in the moment in some in some ways, but there's a number of things that I learnt, number of things um, that I found very interesting. So I thought I would share them here now this morning just to recap a little bit of, of my favorite facts so uh, one of the most interesting things that i found out yesterday was the Hagi sophia was built over 1000 years ago um i think 1600 to be precise and obviously it's directly opposite the blue mosque uh, which i'll get to a bit later um and essentially obviously as you go through different eras I mean, and decades and millenniums, um, the countries are run by different people, etc. Um, so originally, that was actually built um, many thousands of, ye of years ago as a church. Um, and then that was actually, um, the country was taken over by different people. And then that church was converted into a mosque. Um, um, and then essentially, that mosque again became a church again at one point, and then it became a mosque again. So it became a museum at one point as well. But well, the, in the interesting thing for me was the fact that inside the mosque right now, you will still see pictures of Jesus Christ and all of the Holy Mary, etc., on the walls of the, the mosque. Um, so those things haven't been, you know, thrown away. And it's just, yeah, it's very interesting to see two religions almost merged into into one place um so yeah I, I know that can be quite controversial for some people but some people think that's quite beautiful so I found it very interesting and then the blue mosque um which is actually not called a blue mosque um it's only called blue mosque for the tourists but right here in turkey it's called something else i can't pronounce it but all in all it was made by a guy called ahmed um and it's named after him um so essentially um, that was made over 1,000 years after the Hagia Sophia, so it's actually 400 years old. Um, but yeah, you can tell the difference in the architecture as well. Um, you can see and the Hagia Sophia has a bit of a churchy type design, whereas the Blue Mosque was built as a mosque. Um, so yeah, that's a bit of my favourite facts from yesterday. I may think about some more as we go in through the day. Um, so yeah, just stick with me and see how we do, how we get on. So, oh, one thing I will definitely add is um, today I'm very pleased that I'm not wearing black and I'm not in anything <laughs> long sleeve today. Um, I'm in a short sleeved collar top because today might be hotter, hotter than yesterday. It is absolutely baking. Um, so, my first job now is to again get some food in me, get some water, and start my trek start my travels exploring somewhere new and again just a short one minute walk from my hotel and we're already back at these beautiful scenery which is with the blue mosque and haggy sophia which is right next to my accommodation um but now i'm thinking and this could be this could be a bit of a risk but i'm thinking to go get some fresh orange juice now um fresh orange juice but I feel like I need to, I should get some food in me first before doing that. So I may have I may have come the wrong way, if I'm being honest. Um, I may have come the wrong way to explore the part of town I want to explore. Um, yeah. Hi, bro. Do you have a I'm all good, thank you. All right, so let's go get some freshly squeezed orange juice 
Freshly squeezed orange juice. Hello, welcome. Fresh juice, energy drink juice, William. Can I get some orange juice, please? How many? Just one. Okay. Thank you. Extra okay. ice? No ice. This hot juice. Oh, Fresh is it hot? And this hot. Mm. Extra ice, good. Uh, just a little bit of ice then. Um. You take card? Yeah, no problem. Okay. I'm good, thank you. How are you? Okay. Party. Machine and gas. Party. Machine. Can I do that machine? One second, please. Yeah, how much is that? 220 shira. Okay. Where are you from? Uh, London. China. Yeah, China. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> hey. <It's> China. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, can I get a bottle of water as well? Okay. Hello, welcome. Hello. Right there, there's my orange juice there. Okay. So, please. Yes, thank you. 215 nila, okay? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. 15 nila water. Please, for the fast. Thank you very much. Thank you. How many orange? One and two for a bottle. Alright. So, just got my orange juice. I'm gonna see how this tastes. Gonna get a straw as well. Um, so yeah, let's give this a bit of a review afterwards. Um, and then let's see what we're doing. Yeah, so obviously I'm gonna um, I'm gonna see how this tastes right now. Freshly squeezed orange juice. Oh my! Let me um, let me open this very quickly. Lumos is closer, sorry. It's open at two thirty. My favorite. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Where are you from, brother? Uh, London, London. Thank you. I like your style. Where thank do you wanna go? Can I help you? I'm 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 good, thank you. Appreciate that. Okay, don't do that, guys. But um, yeah. All right. So, orange juice. I'm not gonna lie. This is nice. Um, I'm currently off track of what I was gonna do, um, but yeah, this is this is not bad. Also, I'm in, I'm in the sun. I'm drinking freshly squeezed orange juice, and I'm seeing what's happening. So let's do this. Um, let's do this. Um, yeah, let me see what my surroundings are right now. Honestly, it's orange juice is fire, 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 fire. <laughs> I'm gonna lie, yo. Listen, the fresh. You can tell. I'm literally. It feels like I'm drinking the actual pulp from the orange. What I need to do now is get myself in gear and figure out exactly where I'm going because I am ready to eat some food. I need to eat something, but I don't want to eat too much. You know what? Today, my, this is going to sound so bad, but today might be my first McDonald's day. I didn't want to do McDonald's, but I may have to do McDonald's. It's almost, it's almost a bit like a semi-tradition to try McDonald's in different countries to see what they taste like. But at the same time, it normally makes me feel not great. In the UK, I don't have it often, if at all. But in other countries, it's normally fine, to be fair. So, yeah. Where should I explore first? Very busy around here. Everyone's looking to get into the mosque. Very, very busy. I need to figure out where I'm going. Um, Black Nav right now switched off. <laughs> or is it? Because I just clocked somewhere I need to turn in order to get to my next destination. But yeah, for real though, this is... Um, this is a vibe, man. But today is a weekend. This is the first day I'm here on a weekend. And yeah, the weekend vibes I can see already are quite different. It is very, very busy um, on the weekends. Crowded streets. Um, all right, so let's see what is next. What are we doing next? I haven't seen this part of town before, so yeah. 
at some point I'm gonna get into a taxi and, and head over to a different part of town because um, I want to see I want to go into a, you know what it is <laughs> I have I have a task at hand I have a challenge and I don't know if this is gonna be possible here but I want to find a shopping mall that have has regular shops I want to try and buy EAFC 25 if I can find EAFC 25 at a discounted price in Turkey I will be buying that here and you will see me stream that every now and then I will stream a couple of couple of EAFC career mode challenges potentially um, so yeah yeah I didn't, I didn't see this before it, listen no I'm good thank you I'm heading to where I'm heading <laughs> no 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 I'm okay I'm okay thank you very much yeah so <laughs> um, yeah, I want to know. Okay, why? Well, yo, this is this is like an obelisk. If anyone knows what an obelisk is, um, if anyone knows what, what an obelisk is, this looks like uh, one of them Ethiopian obelisk, Egyptian obelisk. It's interesting that it's right here, slap bang in the middle of Istanbul. Very intriguing. All right. Let me actually let's, let's let's have a little closer look at this. I didn't know this again. This is all on my doorstep. All it, this literally in Istanbul, you take a left turn and you're in a whole new part of town. It's gonna be a long video today. Okay, so. I was I was correct. Um, this is an obelisk. Obelisk of Theodosius, 39 AD. Wow. Okay. Wow, 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 wow. The history. The history is historian. I, I would love to know why this is in Turkey, though. Very intrigued. Obviously, if anyone in, in the comments knows, feel free to school me. Let me know, let me know, let me know. I love learning. Um, all right, so, oh, what's, what's through here? Is that, is that like, can you just walk, walk through here? Are you allowed to just walk straight in or do you have to pay? Okay. No, no, no. London, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's close. Okay, all right. Come on later. Uh, you, 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 yeah, a little bit, yeah. <laughs> okay. No, no, it's fine, it's fine. I'm just exploring today. Thank you. Um All right, so yeah. I wanna explore I, I right now, I don't know where I am, but I'm gonna keep exploring because this looks Intriguing. I still haven't had any food in my stomach yet, um, but I'm hoping I will see somewhere to get some food very, very, very soon. Um, yeah, honestly, the sun today is beautiful, beautiful. Um, okay, there's a little food place here. Do I risk it or do I keep walking and trekking down? Security around here is high as well. Look at this. Look at this, guys. There's a woman here with a gun. And I'm trying to understand exactly why she has this big AK-47 just strapped around her while going around here. But it's good. Makes me feel safe and secure. <laughs> Makes me feel safe and secure. All right, let me see what this food place is saying because maybe we can get a little something. A little quick something. A little quick something. And they're looking a bit empty though, but... See what's on this menu. See what's on this menu. Where's the menu at, bro? Have you got a menu? Ah. Thank you. 
थैंक यू Can I trust this place? Can I trust this place? That is my that's that's my question. Can I trust this place? also does Turkey actually do breakfast? Or is it all just the same um food? <laughs> They got a picture of the restaurant in the menu when it's full. <laughs> that's interesting. Honestly? Fried eggs with spice sausage. Oh, did I not just do regular? So, I just ordered um, some breakfast. Even though it is actually past lunchtime now, but for me it's breakfast. So, um, just you know, I have my orange juice, um, and I also have ordered some eggs um, with. Some bread, essentially, very simple, very small, very light. Um, in a couple of hours, I will have probably a bigger, larger lunch before I head on my explorations or before my excursion, which is in probably the next four hours. So, yeah. So, my food has just arrived. Um, not 100% sure I'm gonna like it, but let's give it a go and see what happens. Mm. Mm. Okay. Not too bad. The amount, the amount of bread I've eaten in this country, uh, surely I'm going to be massive when I get home. Because, <laughs> wow, every meal has bread, 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 bread. It just comes free with the every meal. All right, let's give this proper a go now. You know what? It's not too bad. The egg is not too bad. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna lie. Mainly a little bit of salt, though. You know, it was hard on it. So warm. Oh, I put too much salt on it. Fantastic. Okay, so just boxed off that breakfast. I'm not gonna lie. That was actually pretty decent. That's probably the best breakfast I had in Turkey so far. To be fair, though. To be fair, though. Um, yeah, enjoyed that one. Um, simple but effective. Now, I'm gonna head and explore to another part of town. Um, yeah, I'm explore another part of town now. Let me get back, let me get off this sidewalk because there's some elders here who need the sidewalk more than me, even though there's a bunch of cars coming down here. Okay. Who's, who are these people supposed to be? I wonder. Who are these people supposed to be? I'm very intrigued. Is that meant to be... Is that LeBron James? I don't know. Or, or is this meant to be... Uh, what's that guy's name? It, to be fair, it does look like him a little bit, but yeah. Anyway, I forgot his name. How can I forget that guy's name? Steph Curry, that's it. I think it's meant to be Steph Curry and uh, that could be LeBron James. <laughs> I don't know if he plays for the Lakers, I can't remember. But um, yes, anyway. Let's, um, let's go down here. This is, this is new territory for me. Brand new territory. But down here looks busy as well. Busy, 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 busy. Now, do I go right? Do I go left? Oh, there's a little cat over here. There's a little cat over here. <laughs> the cat was about to run off. He's like, yo, one woman, I just want to chill. 
Why are you in my space? So, I never ran a fact I learned yesterday, um, which again, I found very interesting, was um, the fact that Turkey has, um, there's, there's actually three colors to, to Turkey and Turkish flag. It, well, in reality, if that makes sense. Um, and the actual official color of Turkey is blue. Um, I know that that came to a surprise to me. So the actual official color of Turkey is actually blue, like a turquoise type blue. Um, and essentially, um, they had three flags, um, one in blue, which is the actual Turkish main color, um, one in red to represent war, um, and then one in green for the Islamic flag. And essentially, what happened is they just decided to just adopt and keep just the red flag because, um, yeah, just because essentially, but, but, but really the flags of Turkey is, um, yeah, the color of Turkey is actually blue, but people always assume it's red due to the red flags of Turkey, um, which was originally created to represent, you know, when it was going through war and turmoil, which it no longer is, to my knowledge. Um, okay, so another random fact of the day that I remember yesterday shared. So let's see what this part of town is saying at some point i need to get a taxi over to the ever part town but yeah this is looking more like a city vibe down down these sides um so let's see if i can get some shopping done got the star bazaar the star bazaar the only thing about um the only thing about shopping in turkey is I just almost feel like I don't want to walk into any store because the second I walk in, it's like boom. Hello, sir. Pressure, pressure. Buy this. Just, just let me browse. Let me browse freely and decide if I want something myself. I don't need your added eyes and pressure. But I get it. It's the nature here. Everyone's, everyone's trying to make a living. So they want to make sure. And because they all sell exactly the same shit, they want to make sure. Um, you know that you buy from their from their particular store so i get it i get it i get it i wonder if that you know i don't even have space to bring that back but i wonder if they actually have legitimate footwear there i've just seen some nice nikes and jordans but i'm not sure if they're legit that's the only thing we take as well i don't know what's real and what's not and um i want top quality stuff you know I don't I don't have an issue with people who buy um fake stuff at all but certain things I just like like when you buy trainers I have to buy them real because I want them to last I want them to feel comfortable I don't want them to start to peel off after a couple of wears <laughs> um so yeah okay so I seem to have ended up in I don't know where I am but I'm in a whole different part of Istanbul this part does not look tourist friendly I'm gonna be honest um, just part of not look tourist friendly some back roads lots going on but nothing really touristy around here lots of hills as well so I'm actually sweating in this heat sweating buckets in this heat um, I need to keep the hunter keep hydrated but yeah I'm gonna get an uber soon to another part of town because I don't think there's anything to offer here for me. Who's this guy in here? Alright, I think I've seen the first ever black person. The whole time I've been here, I've not seen no ever black person. I've just seen one black person. He looks like he works here, so interesting. Um, yeah. Up here looked busy. So yeah, I'm gonna go. Explore up here for a little bit. This very market vibes. If I'm standing out of breath, it's because I'm getting out of breath. Because I'm getting out of breath. Oh, we've got some football tops here. I might go explore. I'm not sure if you prefer these videos as a walking tour, silent walking tour, or do you don't mind um, me doing a commentary? Look at this top. This is the fakest top I've ever seen in my whole entire life. 
I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even, I, I couldn't wear this. It's so obviously and it's not real. I couldn't wear this in public. But unlike playing football or something, yeah. I couldn't wear, I couldn't, I couldn't wear that. Look at that, Louis Vuitton. Yeah, it looks too fake. Valenciaga t-shirt. Honestly, I don't know enough about this brand to know. What photo now? What video? Okay. Give me 20 euros, give me. It's on me? Give me 20 euros. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you from? London. London, good. Yeah, yeah. Upstairs in the bro. There's more, there's more upstairs? Yeah, more upstairs. Man, I'm, 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 I'm just looking. It's exploring. <laughs> the head, man, man tried to say give you, give him 20, 20, 20 euro for filming, but he was, I, I think he, I think he was joking, but he saw me, um, I gave him the dirtiest look ever, <laughs> if you could see my face. And then he's like, no, nah, nah, I'm joking, I'm joking. Um, I guarantee if I pull it out, he would have took it though. He would have took it. Yeah, okay, now I'm seeing some tourists on this part. This is the hustle and bustle side. Yeah, this is where you get all the little fake trainers as well. Yeah, this is where you get all the fake trainers with the bent up night ticks. With the bent up night ticks. Look at this. With the bent night ticks. Honestly, some nice looking shoes there, but I can't bring myself to I can't bring myself to wear these these type of footwear. Don't go straight, don't go left. And keep going straight because up here it looks like it's popping. Honestly. I don't normally sweat, man, but I am sweating today. Jeez. I am sweating today. Honestly, in advance, anybody who's walking past me later on on the excursion, if I stink, I apologize in advance. <laughs> because, jeez, buckets galore. Buckets galore, fam. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, okay, I feel like so I walked for a non-touristy part and now I'm back in the touristy part. So um let's 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 see. Let's see what round here has. My man just got the I I don't have a camera, my man just got the Turkish hair transplant. Just walking around with it fresh. Hello bro. Hello. I'm good, how are you? Oh my day. Here we, here we go, here we go, here we go. See? Bob Marley count number two. Bob Marley count number three. So, you know what I realized? Because when I came to Turkey last time with the Bob Marley's, it was in this type of area where, you know, the more, I don't say it, but like lower class area where I was getting the Bob Marley's. Well, I'm staying currently in Istanbul. People seem more, more, middle class around there so maybe they're not as ignorant but yeah, the ignorance around around here already started yeah we're gonna explore this, this man is this man stupid fam what the f are you going anyway um yeah so at the moment i'm on this main strip and yeah i'm gonna do a little more exploration and see what we're up to because essentially um it is it is um a busy street but you know what i noticed again every shop just looks exactly the same exactly the same there's not really there's no variation in what they sell um and you know so far one thing i haven't seen in istanbul is activity places like there's a bunch of shops for food and food <laughs> and food <laughs> but um and maybe one or two shops for clothing items but there's not really any stores or any shops or um locations for activities you know where's the bowling wow there was a big crash behind me big crash behind me i, I don't know if that was actually um i don't know if that was Wow, I hope 
Yeah, that was loud. I'm not sure what happened there. Jesus. I'm glad I wasn't on that path because I was literally just on that path a minute ago. That would have broken my legs. Hello, my friend. Welcome. Hello. Uh, Hello. For, for your best quality t-shirt, jeans, watches. I'm okay, thank you. No, I'm good. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> no worries. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, so as I was saying, um, yeah, I haven't, like, where's the bowling? Where's the cinema? Where's the mini golf? Where's, you know, what, what, I know it's a sunny country, you can be outside, but what do they do for fun in the evenings and the afternoons? You know, what, where are those type of places? Not that I would go there myself right now, but just in treat. Everything looks the same. Everything looks the same, same. Just gonna give you a view of what I'm seeing right now. Yeah, just fake, fake clothing stores and exchange places. There's a university here, which you may have saw yesterday on the Segway excursion. So, one thing I would love to see is 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 fake EAFC 25 <laughs> or a real one. I would love to see that. That is that is in my plan of action. Just know, if you guys ever see me outside, you almost definitely not see me in anything name branded. I am um, I'm not a name brand person, even if it may look nice, even if I can afford it. I like to just dress very low key, very cheaply. My money gets spent on everything, such as holidays like this and exploring as opposed to spending hundreds of pounds, 500 pounds, 1,000 pounds on a t-shirt. Not for me, not for me. But every now and then I may treat myself for something, but that every now and then is once every decade. <laughs> All right. Sorry, it's running down this. It's running down this, if you guys can. Honestly, the amount of steps I'm getting in, the amount of calories I'm burning. Jeez. Okay, so I've just walked down this entire strip in Turkey here, Istanbul. I walked down the entire strip and literally, um, yeah, I, everything's the same <laughs> everything's the same i am um, a little bit confused and a little bit bit concerned now because i'm about to uh, well i'm about to order an uber to take me to another part of town across the bridge um in order to just explore that part of town and also i think i saw a mall on the map there as well so i'm i'm hoping there's you know regular stores in that area i don't know i'm i'm, I'm worried that it's gonna be more of the same um but it's fine because i'm in the sun and i'm enjoying walking around exploring getting some fitness in and getting some sun rays in especially knowing that it's really cold and wet in the uk right now i feel blessed but turkish people tell me where do you get your games from if you want to buy a game for your playstation where are the stores to get them from because i don't see anything anywhere except for just the same stores every single i walk past probably a hundred shops and uh, just clothes and food and clothes and food i see no i, I haven't even seen a tech shop that sells phones, nothing, unless I'm being blind, there's the nothing, nowhere sells games. Um, I, haven't, I haven't even seen many of the, which is fine, I respect it, but I haven't seen many of the, the westernized stores as well that you get in every country as well. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna get a taxi to take me to where I need to go, peace. So I'm in a taxi right now, heading over to another part of Turkey. Lots of traffic because there is um there is a match today, Fenerbahce versus Galatasaray. So yeah, but well, we should be at a restaurant shortly, eating some fish. Let's get it. Sultan Suleiman Mosque. Nice. What's it called? Sultan Suleiman. So it's on sale, man. Okay, nice. Very nice. 200 deal. Oh, wow. It looks, it looks huge. Very nice. 
very interesting book. Buy the yacht to buy some boats. Okay. Smells very fresh fish around here as well. I don't know how far I am from my destination, but hopefully we're close. Mm. Yeah. So today you may see some clips which is just silent in terms of just getting the ambiance of Istanbul as opposed to me talking of you know walking ASMR I'm sure you guys are probably getting sick of my voice yeah, really now. okay here personal restaurant fish hello okay so I've just got out of the taxi now getting the personal service walking me to the restaurant hey so yeah let's see let's see let's see let's see Yes. Okay. Where are you from? Uh, London. London, yeah. Are you from there? Yes, I am. <laughs> I am, I am, I am. So, is it far? No. Okay, just 20. Oh my god, the whole time. He's, sorry guys, I'm having technical issues. Literally no one... No one recording. Oh, okay, so we have arrived at the special treatment here. We have arrived, we have arrived. Getting the... Um, yeah, again. For some reason it went recording and we missed very good walk to this restaurant okay again seeing people on the shoreline there beautiful 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 busy though but i'm still getting this personal treatment being chauffeured from the taxi again it didn't it didn't record that for some reason but I'm getting chauffeured from the taxi all the way to the restaurant earlier we got you know the bread which is obligatory um, as well as this thing again i'm not sure quite what this is but um yeah so just waiting for my fish to come now as you can see right by the ocean where well, you probably can't see but um yeah so this, this fish i'm expecting it to be really really fresh and really really good in fact i can actually see some freshly caught fish just to the right of me um so yeah very very nice restaurant so far let's see let's see okay so our food has now arrived and um this is how it looks as you can see this is the sea bream a bit of fries on the side i didn't all right guys so literally just um just had some food in this restaurant and um yeah honestly <laughs> honestly um yeah it cost me twice the price that i thought it was gonna cost me um yeah i couldn't be yeah honestly expensive meal and it was not worth it I, I will tell you that for free it was not worth it don't get me wrong the sea bream was fresh it tasted decent but it wasn't I will not be doing that again but obviously I'm on holiday these things these things occur these things happen um, part of the learning experience I'm gonna just charge it charge it to the game um, charge it to the game it's a, it's a loss but um, just to give you my surroundings a little, little bit look where I am I am on the seafront as you can see here um, and yeah there's, there's, there's lots there's lots happening there's lots occurring um, lots of boats a fishing rod here if you can see someone doing some live fishing right now we speak um, in fact and obviously the restaurants on the side so yeah definitely definitely o over budget now um, but it is what it is it is what it is come walk with me come walk with me Yeah. Little vlog life. Let's see, let's see what's on here. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah.
that man was playing some bangers maybe do a little, little shuffle a little dance a little shuffle a little dance you get me <laughs> little vibe little vibe so um anyway let's make my way down to y'all um this is looking very cool place to visit so let's see what's down here it's got the oh we got some ice cream here oh so I get a food, get an ice cream though. So I get an ice cream though. Okay, so this part of town is very, very busy. Um, so many people. I'm hoping I can find some regular stores if not i'm gonna try and find somewhere to sit down and chill until my excursion which you guys will see shortly what that is but yes this part of town is busy 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 yeah there's lots happening around here lots happening around here oh my god what is that smell jeez anyway <clears throat> people um, taking the, the wedding photos as well around here I'm not sure why what's so special about this particular location or building um, I'm intrigued it is a salt galata um, this is not English so I don't know what that actually says but long story short um, yeah you are in the galata area which I think is of some iconic significance again anybody in the comments feel free to school me and teach me i do love to learn as well um so yeah you can see people there taking their the wedding photos i will periodically check that this is still recording from now on since i now have anxiety towards this cutting off after a certain amount of time but yeah Oops. let me um let me keep it moving because i'm trying to understand what makes this place so special? So this sign here going up to Galata Tower, um, and that is the route there. So, yeah. Um, so the question is, do I continue going, or do I do I continue going down, or do I go up the stairs? That is that is my true question. I'm gonna, I'm gonna block people up and walk through because I'm not exactly entirely sure um, what that is about um so yeah let me just keep moving right now but i can tell i'm in an upper class section of town um right now with the type of the type of vehicles and, oh let's see what the shop is the sink mm, shop smells good this shop smells good okay yeah just having a quick look okay see we have these um they have these evil eye pendants as well in here and uh, how much are your um your magnets how much are the magnets yes magnets. yeah how much price uh, three, euro. Three, eh? three euro three euro okay all right thank you okay we're still recording that's good all right so let me um let me get out of here. I'm a walk down the street. This is so busy around here. It's so incredibly busy around here. I'm trying to get out of the store and I can't even get out of the store right now. Um, it's ridiculous. Okay. Oh, yeah, this is definitely where the, um, where the rich people come and do their thing. Do their thing. Yeah. Literally, I've just seen another wedding for shoot happening as well. You can see here, never couple there. It's interesting. Okay, let's go up this road here and see some balloons. 
Um, I can see some balloons. Yeah. What is this? Okay. Honestly, let's go up the steps because. Yeah. Finally seen some normal regular scores. Okay, so I can see an iPhone, well, sorry, a phone store there again. Very, um, very pleased to see something different. Um, still haven't seen anywhere on my operation EA FC 25. Still haven't seen that EA FC 25 operation. But we are seeing some other stores. Oh, they got the Stone Island hats in here. Yo, this stairs making me out, bro. These stairs are making me out. Oh, breezy. I'm not gonna lie. One thing I do wanna do is sit down and relax. All right, I think we're nearly at the top of the hill now. Nah, it just keeps, it just keeps going. You know what? Let's get it moving. Let's get it moving. All right, I feel like I've been climbing for hours. Oh, yeah, smells a bit sweaty. Jeez. Okay. Honestly, what I'm, I'm sweating again. I'm sweating again. I am sweating again. I don't understand what's going on. I'm out of breath and yeah, I think I'm ready to find some way just to sit down. I haven't seen no regular, I want to see a shopping mall, somewhere that has like a game store. Operation EA FC 25 at discount is not going well so far. Operation FC 25 is not going well at all. Where are we? Okay, so we are now at the Galata Tower. So, obviously, you can pay to go to the top of the tower. That costs around 30 to 35 pounds. I will not be doing that. It's not even that high. So you know what the view will look like from up there, but it's not even that high. One thing I do know though, the sun is beating me up. I must look wet. I'm dripping. I'm trying to crash into me with them, them pearls. 